Hey guys, so it's Alex your Saturday special, and I forgot about the theme when I originally filmed it. I'm not refilming it, so I'm just going to edit it in, but here is my animal tissue box. Crocodile, lion, tissue box. Hey guys, I'm Alec, your Saturday special here on FTM Transformers, and this week we are talking about binding. Now, first I'm going to tell you about the Sunny Yes Binder, because not a lot of people know about it, and it's very helpful for people who live in hot climate weather, and summer, and yeah. So, this is basically what on the inside looks like. It has a bunch of holes, and the outside binds pretty well. I mean, it has, on the side, it has three clamp things, and it has holes in it, so it doesn't keep the heat in, and I would definitely suggest that for trans guys who live in hotter climates. But let's begin. Now your first instinct when you see learn about binding is, well, binders are like $30. How am I gonna get that into my house without my parents knowing? Why don't I just go buy a knee bandage? Yeah, yeah, it's all fun and games until someone breaks a rib. Do not use ace bandages. I did, and they were addictive. I used them for four weeks, and then I got hurt. I laughed too hard at a party. That's how I got hurt. I ended up scrambling to the bathroom and just ripping it off and just feeling like shit. Binding doesn't have to hurt that much as an ace bandage makes it. I thought getting a real binder might hurt more and it doesn't. Try as best as you can to get an underworks binder. Lace Love Boat does good ones. I don't know about Tea Kingdom, but I have two underworks binders and they're amazing. They've held up for months. They hold up really nice. They're nice material. Not too many complaints about them at all. And they're safer to bind in. But when you bind, try not to do exercise. I know you're like, whoa, wait, yo, bro, I need to exercise. Well, bro, I'm here to tell you, I don't want you to get hurt. Because I know it's hard and stuff. But it hurts. It, it's a lot of hurt, a lot of cardio, it just hurts. As far as swimming goes with binding, I wear a um, underwork swimming binder that works very well for me. It um, it binds like a normal binder, it doesn't, but it doesn't compress, so it doesn't like stay. I mean, it compresses, but it doesn't like. It doesn't kill me. Let's just put it that way. It doesn't kill me. And the fact that it doesn't kill me is good. So when I can swim, I can do stuff in it that's very good. This has a different sort of bind. It's not the best binder in the world, but for heat it is. So I wear it at like marching band and stuff, and it works out really well. And as far as binding goes, you can find stuff on eBay for like 6 seven eight dollars you can find stuff a bunch of places uh there's a couple programs i don't know exactly what they are but they'll um they like give out give away binders to guys who need them so you can try to find one of those i know in the tumblr community they have those links all around all the time try to get into the tumblr community if you're or if you are binding because i think you'll find good deals good people and also, other guys who get top surgery or just have old binders might be willing to give some to you. So, if if someone's saying, oh, I have a bunch of old binders, inbox them. Hey, I, I kind of need a binder, but I don't really have the money right now. Do you mind sending me one of your old binders? I would send some of my old binders. Except for I don't have old binders. I use all mine. <laughs> so, yeah. But just be careful is the thing with binding. Don't push yourself to the limit. You need to, like, dip your toe in the water and then fall in with doing things and binding. So just be careful with that is my biggest piece of advice. And have a great Saturday. Go watch everyone else's videos. The channel has grown so much since it first started, and it's really amazing. So, bye, guys.